The Cryptid Boot Camp event is now available and it actually has some pretty good rewards. It's got some pretty decent looking stickers, charms, emblems, and calling cards, but the thing I really want here is the Looking at You event camo. And if we can complete all these challenges and collect all these rewards, we'll get the Cryptid Blueprint for the Sidewinder that actually has an aftermarket part attachment. So let's go knock it out. The challenges for this event actually look pretty easy. I think if we're efficient enough, we might be able to get them all done in this game. For one of them, we need 75 kills with Brain Rot, and I think it needs to be the Brain Rotted Zombie zombie to get those kills. But the reason why I brought in the haymaker is because you need to get 50 hellhound kills with shotguns. And since this is semi-automatic, I think we can get it done pretty quick with it. And for our secondary, I brought in the XRK stalker because we need to get 10 critical kills on special zombies with snipers. And this is the highest damaging sniper in the game. But we need to go find an outlast contract and get some hellhound spawning. Oh no, somebody grabbed it right when we got here. That's unlucky. Uh, I guess we can do an escort contract. Actually, you know what? This was a good call because I think we'll get some manglers from this too. But we also need to try to get a few throwing knife kills here because we need to get 100 throwing knife kills in zombies. I already have a decent amount. So it shouldn't take us too long to get this one done. And we need to pay attention to whenever we have our aether shroud ready because we need 100 kills while on aether shroud. Oh, there's our mangler. Let's activate the aether shroud. It takes so long to actually pull the sniper out after. There we go. Was that a critical kill? I don't think so. Oh, there's the hellhounds we're looking for. Let's go. Oh, look at this mangler back here thinking he's slick. Trying to sneak away. Get critted. JFK'd. Let's throw a decoy. See if we can't group all the zombies up. Then we can aether shroud and take them out. That should add quite a few. And no mangler here for the finale. He didn't want to show up for the end of this contract. Oh, he did. He was hiding. Cowardly manglers today. And I see another outlast here, but there's two players right next to it. I don't know if I want to waste the time going all the way there for them to take it. We might have to go all the way across the map to get one. Wait, hold on. Is that an ethereal orb? We need to break three of those for this challenge as well. Let's see if we can break this with our sniper. I almost forget that these things are in the game and not just like set dressing. I don't think I've actually gone after these since they added in the Dark Aether and you needed to break one with a specific ammo type to get one of the pieces to open the portal. And then before that, I didn't really break them since like the launch of the game because you never really got any good rewards for them. Sometimes they drop Aether wrenches, but most of the time it's just like a green one. Oh, an epic one. See, look, you just got to talk shit on them so they step up their game. So we got to keep our eye out for more of those. We just need two more. Oh, right here. Speak of the devil. We're on a side quest. That's how easily I get distracted. It's all for the sake of efficiency. What? I say as if I didn't know there's a whole horde of zombies right here. Oh no, it's teleporting away. Stop! It escaped. Well, so much for efficiency. Oh shit. We got a blood burner though. All right, let's start this bad boy up. We should be able to knock out a few challenges just by doing this outlast. Oh, there we go. We got the first one done. That's our throwing knives. We unlocked the Wendigoon sticker. Oh, we got another one done. Is that the Hellhounds? No, it's our Brain Rot kills. Let's go. Oh, Hellhound kills are done. Let's go. We just scooped up a double point. So I'm going to end this event. That way I can get double the money for completing it. And we can just head to the exfil that's nearby and start working on killing the manglers that spawn from it. Look at that. Nice 14k now. Because we need to build up a little bit of cash because another challenge we got to do is kill three mega abominations. I already have one of those done. So we just need to get two mega bomb kills this game. This should really help with our aether shroud too. We'll get a lot more zombies at a time. Yeah, there we go. There's our aether shroud kills. Perfect. This is actually a pretty fun event. It's fun hopping in here with little tasks to do besides get camos. Even if these little tasks that we're doing result in us getting camos. So let's do one more exfil. And hopefully this is our last one. Nope. All right. That's going to have to do it for this exfil though. Because we have to get five bounty kills with mystery box weapons now. And we're at a grand total of no bounty kills. So give me that contract. And give me a good weapon from the mystery box, please. Oh, that works. Lockwood 680. It is only green rarity. But I do have an aether tool in here. I'm going to use the blue one. Let's see if we can take this guy out without pack a punch. If we do, it might take a minute. Maybe we should weaken him up, loosen him up. Oh wait, that just killed him. Oh well, at least we're progressing one challenge. Oh, and there's a pack two crystal. Perfect, just what we needed. Oh, and we got that challenge done too. It all worked out. We got another bounty right down the road. That's more like it. And a bit more damage. See you around, Mangler. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm throwing the Epic Aether tool on this. Because I think this might have to be the weapon that we get to pack three to try to take the Mega Abominations down with. That should be two bounties down for our mystery box weapon. This dude is not dying. 
Might have to tickle him with a sniper a little bit. There, he's in killing range. Got him. I'm thinking it was a mistake getting this shock on the pack too, because it doesn't seem very strong. And that's another bounty down. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think we need any gun to take down the mega abomination. If we have enough cash by the time we're done doing this, we can either call in a jug or find some deadbolt turret circuits. Oh, but I still need ethereal orbs. I still need two more. There we go. We should just need one more bounty. Where are you flying to? What the fuck are you doing? That's bullshit. He's fully healing and just leaving. All right, well, we got to cancel that contract. That sucks. We don't have that much time left for them to be doing that. Oh, the store's about to start moving. And we got to drive right past it. We have to be fast with this bounty. Come on, give me something close by. Mangler, you need to die immediately. There we go. Is that it? I didn't see anything pop up. What? We still need more? I'll knock one more out. But if the challenge isn't done here, I don't know what's happening. Come on. Give me my reward, pal. There we go. Show it to me. Nothing? All right, whatever. We got to make our way to tier three and at least buy Tombstone. Because if I can't get these Mega Abomination kills this game, I'm not wasting this 35,000 that we earned. Oh, the storm's already taken this area over. Give me Tombstone. So I guess we're going to have to save our Mega Abomination kills for next game. Let's try to find some Ethereal Orbs before this one's over. Oh, no. My textures aren't loading in. Please don't crash on me. There's an ethereal orb right here too. I'm conflicted between just dying so I don't lose my stuff and taking this thing out. I guess whichever one comes first. I'm playing the PS2 port for this. There we go. We broke it. Did it drop us anything decent? Nope. Oh, there's another orb. Come on. This would be clutch. Got it. What did it drop? Oh, I thought it was something better. Oh, well, we got it done. Well, let's stow our self-revive. Anything else on me that I'd want to keep? Not really. We got a large backpack in here already. You know what? Take me out. I'm done. We almost got it all in one game. Almost. Okay, so we got all these done except for the last two. We still need to eliminate five big bounty targets with mystery box weapons. What does that mean? Big bounty. Tier three? And we still need two mega abominations. All right, let's go get that done. Don't give me any trash. Oh... They gave me trash. You can do better than that. Attack of ease, slightly better. Ah, uh, maybe. Gonna be a little slow for tier three. Man. All right, one more pull. Oh, there we go. It might only be a pistol, but it's blue. And honestly, I trust the pistol more than any of those other weapons. Let's pack a punch this as much as we can. Oh, and we still have just enough to get pack three. Oh, and there's a circuit right there. All right, tier three, here we come. I really hope this strat works. Let's pick it up before we even grab pack a punch just to make sure that we have it. Oh, and it is a mega abomination. Exactly what we're looking for. All right, give me pack three and let's hope this works up here. Oh yeah, we can kill some zombies with it. Let's go ahead and throw this cashmere and start working on this a bomb. There we go, broke his face already. Perfect. Oh, and he already knocked us. Stop emoting. Oh, he's shooting another laser. Decoy. Focus the middle. Oh, and he knocked us again, but we took out his his fucking head. I almost said helmet. We got one more self revive. And another mega abomination just spawned. This is not good. Come on. Just die. Almost there. We got him. Woo. I hope that counts as a big game bounty because if that doesn't, I don't know what does. Because we tried tier one contracts last game, did not work. Tier two contracts did not work. If the tier three mega bomb doesn't work, then I'm lost. And insta kill, perfect. We can get some good damage on this mega bomb. Broke a face immediately. Yeah, get as much damage on this guy as possible while we got the chance. There we go, that's two faces. Yeah, shoot your laser from down there. We'll see how that works for you. I should just always fight these guys from roofs. So much easier. That should be our last abomination that we need. There we go. There's our camo. Did you drop anything decent too? Oh, a refined Ethereum crystal. I'll take that for sure. Now we need to find some more bounties to do. It's another mega bomb. We got this. And these dudes haven't spawned near a deadbolt turret. I think the closest one's like over there. Can it even reach? You know what? I might as well go activate it. If it works, it'll be worth it. Even just to keep some zombies off my back. We just gotta make sure we get the last shot on him. I think we did. At least I hope so. Let's keep these contracts going. This one's a mimic. There's our guy. There we go. We still have like three bounties to go. Another mega bomb. What a weird spawn for it. But there is a deadbolt turret right over here. How do I get on this roof? 
You're done. Let me get you over this bridge. Actually, I don't even need you on the bridge. I just need you to be in its sight. Come on. Let me get the last bullet, please. Don't knock me. No. Damn it. I guess I could have shot him while I was on the ground. Shit. Come on, give me something easy like a mangler. Something that don't take so much time. Oh, Mimic. Same thing. You know, this is going to be the hardest part of the whole challenge. I don't even know if these are counting. There we go. Woo. Time to go down, Mangler. He's just eating these. Holy horde of zombies. Sentry gun, you got to work. Nope, can't put it down. Cool. There we go. That should be it. Let's start this one up. And the Aether Storm is on its way. Oh, we have a Disciple. That's the worst one. I'd rather have a Mega Bomb. Oh, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. We can't even break his hand comfortably. This guy is so fucking tanky. Just die. Please. Stop healing. Stop healing. Stop healing. This is stupid. Just die. My finger is getting tired. There you go. Oh, and there's no more bounties out. There's only two contracts. Do contracts stop respawning after the Aether Storm starts moving? That sucks. Watch us be like one short. Oh, wait, no, one just spawned. We got a clutch up. Come on. Oh, it's a mega bomb, too. We got this. Gotta make it nice and easy for us. Shoot your laser, please. There you go. Let's get that face out of here. Where's the storm at? Oh, it's getting close. We need to do this now. We don't have any time to waste. There you go. Shoot another laser. That's what I'm talking about. Just blow up already? No. He's only down to one head and half health. Oh, I can see the storm on the mini map. Just die. Please. Come on. Let's lead you away from the storm. Come on down here. Don't you walk towards it. Come on down here. Oh, no. It's about to touch him. Oh, fuck. Damn it. He fully healed. That sucks. That sucks so bad. Bastard. I think we just got to cut our losses and get out of here and even see if these kills have been counting. Oh, we did just need one more. I guess we got to go back in. Dude, this is so stupid. I definitely would have had it done if I didn't use the dead bolt turrets in my sentry gun. I made it way harder on myself trying to make it easier. Should have just shot him. All right, give us a good weapon this time around. Oh, the VR-11? Does this count as a mystery box weapon? I hope it does. I don't see why it wouldn't. I'm just going to use it and see uh, what happens. I just got to do a few bounties so I can afford pack three. Oh, wait, what? We just got that done by killing a tier two bounty? Why didn't that work earlier? What? I'm so confused. So I was doing all those tier three bounties for nothing then. Why didn't the other ones count? I, I guess I can't complain too much. We got we got the event done. It's all done. I guess we'll just get out of here and go check out our rewards. What a beautiful sight. Everything is done. This is what our cryptid blueprint looks like in game. And it's actually really, really nice looking. And it's actually got a few cryptids on there. You can see Bigfoot close to the stock there. I'm pretty sure it has the Loch Ness monster going down the magazine. And a few others sprinkled throughout the gun. And this is what our looking at you can camo looks like in game honestly it's a really really nice camo i think the best part about it is that it's supposed to give you like a dark ominous creepy vibe to it but it also has like some very vibrant colors that stand out and speaking of standing out you can see all the eyes sprinkle throughout the camo pattern and those eyes give off light you can see them a lot better in the dark they actually somewhat glow now as much as i like this camo i feel like i have to critique it a bit as you can see like near the iron sight here of my weapon you can see partial spots of the eyes and i was actually having a hard time trying to find a weapon where the eyes didn't get messed up on it seems like they want to spawn kind of near like the edges of it and i don't know if that's like by design so it's kind of like it's peeking over being like subtle but a lot of the time you can see like at the top of my iron sight barely there there's a little bit of the yellow and like near the mechanisms of the gun like where you release the safety or like on this side where you change the fire rate so if i had to change one thing about it i would shift the texture up a little bit that way you could see more of the eyes on your weapon and just so you can get a better look at some of the eyes i threw it on the joker because it's got the most real estate out of any weapon in this game and this is what it looks like in the dark and just for a bit of fun, this is what our camo looks like with our cryptid blueprint. And it honestly works. But you got around two weeks if you want to go ahead and collect all these rewards. We went ahead and got it done in three games. Could have honestly got it done in two, maybe even one if we were a bit faster. But overall, the challenges weren't too bad and these rewards are pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.